What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube holiday draft here on guildsofravnica.intermediateswissq.com. I'll be your host, a little pepper over here, and uh... My name is Pepe. No, Pepe it's, the pepper. it's not his name. Should I play with this knife and maybe cut my face off on accident? Yeah, man. Sounds about right. And, um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do this thing. Hey, Mike B, are you going trick-or-treating trick or tonight? Only at your mom's house. He's going to your mom's house to trick or treat, Rob. I don't know if you heard that. I think she's got the full size candy bars, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I like the if you know what I mean at the end there. Like, well, wait, do you mean she has full size candy bars or are you implying something else? Tell Mike to stop touching the tip on his head. I can't why you just why don't you tell him to do that? You're literally in the chat right now. I think it's either Boros Challenger or Deadly Visit. You're not even going to try for that expo? No, I've tried this this thing like five different times. And uh, Reed Duke, of all people, was pretty unimpressed by it. So that's enough for me. Okay. I've also, every time I draft this, I either don't draw it or I die before I can ever cast it. So, what, like for seven mana you deal three, draw three? I mean, seven mana? It's a lot. That's a good point. The effect is great, but like most spells that cost eight or more are, are, have great effects. So, I think it's probably Boros Challenger. <coughs> it's one of the better. Oh, chat is not hidden by choice. I would never do that to you guys. I'm gonna highlight this Boros Challenger though, because we have six seconds left. No, we have three. No, we have two. No, we have one. No, we have zero. Oh, wow, who passes this? What common do you take and leave Maybe this? Rare, right? It might have been a foil of something, yeah. I refreshed the chat, so let me let me know if it pops now. I'm going to take this. This is just un, unbeatable. This is a great top end for a... What are you doing, man? Messing with, you messing with the pepper? Yeah. If anyone should be a sub, I like trick or treating on my mom's, it should be you. Why would, why would I care? I don't care what Mike and your mom do in their private time. The pepper boy, those pepper boys are at it again. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. And literally nothing in this pack. Fantastic. It happens. What? Shit. Sometimes. And then Forrest Gump, and then the guy made the shit happens t-shirt. What about the book eater? The book eater's terrible. You don't want a six drop in this in, in the Boros deck. And this is like the best one you can get, so you play that, but you're never gonna play this guy but look at him he's chewing on them books you're right the art is fantastic begrudgingly take this guy alright now we get a bodyguard that seems okay alright now we're talking oh alright so we just we had a we had we picked we hit a lull and then we're now we're getting the good stuff I think Legion Guildmage is better than Unicorn so I'm gonna take that Sworn Companions? Sure. Not the best for a Boros deck, but I think it's fine because you can mentor onto those boys. If I had a dollar every time Mike B went trick-or-treating at my mom's house, boy, only would I be broke. Boy, not only would I be broke, Mike B would be lonely. False. That's a false statement. I'm just going to take all the cards that are on my colors. Not true. He's right. It's not true. You're yeah, not true. You're right. It's not true. Good point. Good point, Rob. Good point. I could just wear it like this and not have to zip it up. Although yes, I feel like it, true. I feel like the green screen gets all like... Like it's like if I just put this up, it like changes its whole its its whole perspective is like the green screen. Wait, it's kind of it's kind of disappearing. I don't know. This is weird. I'm I'm uncomfortable with everything that's happening right now. <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go again. Yeah, it's an Indian headdress. Everybody knows that. Oh, Rob didn't see this yesterday. Oh, that's pretty funny. Maybe I should put it on then. 
It's inside out, just so you know. Oh, dang it. Story of my life. Story of my life. That's a Mike Ness song by uh, by Mike B. Um, is it Hunted Witness or Maniacal Rage? Probably Hunted Witness, I guess. Oh, that's good. Oh, the GERD for Battle comes back? That seems like a good... That's a good sign. Is it on Inside Out? Oh, it is. You're right. How did you know that? Because I looked at it. <laughs> a solid strategy. This is your luchador mask. <laughs> it is very reminiscent of a luchador mask. I feel like it's more fitting today than ever because of Halloween, but... You know. It's hollow it's hollow Wednesday, my dudes. Yeah, blood operative, that's a good card, but not for us. Probably just want this. <laughs> oh looks like our <laughs> mid birth. Oh man, we have a good time. Yeah, we're just going to take this integrity and... <laughs> oh, boy. How long will it take your head to get overheated, though? It doesn't take that long. I think it's just Blade Instructor. Could be Orn Actually, it's probably Orner Goblin. You want to take tips to touch the tip. Tips for the tip. That's, uh, that's an old... That's a thing. That's happening. I'll take this guy. Oh, this is a late Night Veil Predator. I'm gonna take this Healer's Hawk, though. I just want all the Healer's Hawks. Are Mike's hairs red now, or is it my screen? Yeah, it's it's both. It's a little both. They are red now, but that means it is also your screen, because it's accurate, really portraying Mike's red hairs. Hear that, cat? Mow. I don't think that helps. I don't think you help. Dim. <sighs> true Fire Captain. Oh, I think it's Skylight Legionnaire. I actually like Skylight Le Sky Knight Legionnaire better than the True Fire Captain. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely Legionnaire here. If that captain comes back, though, I'll be grateful. Dragon Boy. I don't care about that. You want the cheap guys in the Boros decks. Like, you don't want that many 5 drops and 6 drops, man. I just want this 2 drop. So I can mentor onto it with my bodyguard. Mike, is it a ketchup bottle? No, it's a pepper, obviously. How's that not... What's wrong with you people? Mike looks like a retired army captain who gets drunk a lot and tells stories at the time he was in Nam. Basically got lost and you let him in the house to use your phone and now he just follows you around. Yeah, no, that is actually our relationship. I don't know. Accurate. On color guild gates, don't, I don't, you don't really want guild gates in the Boros deck. Because you're not... Like, you don't want your lands coming to play tapped. Look at that narco movement, bro. You ever play this guy before? Non-draft, no. Mike looks like Sagat from that from that fighting game? What? I like that you can remember Sagat's name, but not the fighting game. That's pretty weird. You know, that fighting game. What's it called? It's got fight right in the title. Parkway Brawler. Look, I'll take it for you now. Look, I'll take the Gildegate for you this time. Jeez. Mike looks like E-Honda and Sagat had a baby. Wow, you can name all the characters from the game, but you couldn't say the name of the game. That's really weird. Oh, a bump. Avenue Brawl, Mortal Fighter. Oh, take heart's nice. There you go. You figured it out.
Are you an egg? If you want me to be an egg, I can be an egg. What's it worth to you? I was an egg once. I lived in an egg shell. That's just a song I sung that didn't make any sense, really. Another risk factor? Hmm. I feel like I always take risk factors, but there's literally nothing in this pack. It's either one drop, one drop, or risk factor. I'm just going to go with the risk factor. I'll play it. Maybe this Boros deck can, can actually win some games this time. We shall see. Swahili. Is it Bodyguard or another Legion Guild Mage? A Command of the Storm? I think I'm probably leaving this in the pack because I can get another one. I think it's just Bodyguard here. Bodyguard's very good. Oh, a Banneret? Hmm. I'm game. Mono Black Stip, Mono Black Stip. I don't think mono black's even possible. You just realize what Mike is wearing? It's a chili pepper. You might say he's a pepper. You might not too, that's up to you. I'm not gonna force you to do either one, buddy. You mentioned in your YouTube video that you're coming to New York, is that business? Uh, it's always a pleasure. Uh, I'm actually going to hang out with my buddies, the Draft Boys. Quacker 2000 being one of them. Yeah, you're right, honestly. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked, Neon Tokyo Rain. Come to Albany? Well, that's not, that's not necessarily, that's not really close. Oh, a foil Knight of Autumn? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's that's probably not worth anything. This is a situation where it's going to be like, the foil is actually worth less. Which is sad, because it's a very good card. Oh man, Assassin's Trophy is only like five tickets on Moto. That's great. Knight of Autumn. Yeah, the foil is less. 85 cents. It's still a dollar. Well, almost a dollar. I'll take it. Oh, that's greedy. It's probably just this guy. Yeah, oh, direct, one, so. ooh, a direct current? Yes, please. Come to France, only six hours from New York. Yeah, that's actually, that's more compelling than Albany, I'll be honest with you. No offense to Albany, but how are you going to compete with France? I would love to go to France. Would you try some delicious mustard? Mustard? Mm-hmm. Why would I do that? Because they got mustard shops in France. Don't they have mustard shops everywhere, man? No, but like specialty mustard shops. Do they? Yeah. Casper, can you can you confirm whether you guys have specialty mustard shops there? It's all on the Food Channel. Oh, well, the Food Channel will never lie to you. I would like another two drop, but it doesn't look like it's happening, unfortunately. Wow, the Commander Storm came back? Good lord. We do have a 10th uh, a District guide that we can put in here if we'd like. Here's another one. Uh, I'd like a Maniacal Rage, so I'll take it. Now, I'll take the take card. Wow, this is a lot of torch couriers. What was the question? Do you are there are there are there specific mustard shops in in France? You know, shops for mustard. <laughs> Maybe 
one cut. Not at all. <laughs> well, the Food Channel lied to me. Maybe you even lied to your whole life, Michael. Did you ever think about that? Are you looking it up? Mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find where these mustard shops are. The Food Channel told me there were mustard shops. I like that it's giving me 8-8. Eight, eight. That's good. That's a solid... That's a solid recommendation, especially when we have 39, 39 cards in our deck. Boom. <laughs> Boutique Molly. Molly is a special retail boutique of mustard, vineyard, and kitchen accessories. I'm going to read the review. Got a little of the mustard connoisseur over here. Famous mustard business store. I don't like the guild gate in this deck. I hate the guild gate. It actually, you don't need it. There's no reason to play the guild gate. Like, you have one double colored card. Everything else is a single color. Like, if you get one planes and one mountain, you can cast everything in your deck. And there's no point in this deck on turn one, two, or three where you weren't going to land coming to play tapped. No guild gates. Boros does not want guild gates. Well, why are you disagreeing? Explain it to me. I mean, don't just disagree. I mean, I stated my case. The I don't want... I want to be able to play a one drop on turn one. I want to be able to play a two drop on turn two. And you want to be able to play a three drop on turn three. That is the most consistent way a Boros deck is going to win in Limited. By having a, a, a very good curve and applying a consistent amount of pressure on all the early turns. I So, so I... Yeah, but if I end up with three planes and no mountains, like the guild gate's not going to help that because I have just a, I have a worse chance of drawing a guild gate than I do a mountain. I have just like it minimizes that risk, but like you're what you're you're sacrificing it in tempo. I think this is good. Here also for your only sacrifice tempo of your hand is already perfect curve. That's correct. But as a Boros deck, you're hoping that it will be. So you're trying to maximize the opportunity for it to be. You don't you don't give up percentage points that maybe it won't be. You don't give up percentage points that it will be a perfect curve. Uh, simply because you accept the fact that, yeah, maybe it won't sometimes. But th the thing is, you're not that much faster. If you go one drop, Guildgate on turn two, three drop, and you miss a two drop, you're not that much faster than any other deck. I don't think the Boros deck is... I think the, deck, the Boros deck is only faster when you have... when you don't stumble. And I... I, I say this having done a lot of Boros drafts that, that have gone very well and very poorly. If I had no one drops, I would definitely play the Guildgate, I think. But having having two one drops that I really want to come down. Yeah, like Matap, yeah, that's actually exactly what I'm saying right now. The fact that I definitely want a one drop, I definitely want a two drop, and I definitely want a three drop, and I want to maximize my chances of having that happen means I have no incentive to play Guildgate. A two color deck doesn't need a Guildgate. Yeah, I'm going to play it like this. We'll see what happens. If I had like true fire captains in the deck, I could again I could see playing the guild gate. But right now our mana costs are very, very liberal. Like they're not 
Has anyone else noticed that Mike always licks his cup after taking a sip? Is that do you do that? I do do that. Really? Yeah. Why do you do that? Because it always like dribbles a little bit. Okay, that's actually a solid strategy then. I can get behind that. See, like this is the hand where I would just not want a guild gate. If either one of these was a guild gate, this would be a significantly worse hand. And I also don't want a guild gate as my third land either, so I can't play like. I mean, I it would let me play like guy guild gate, but I'd rather just play risk factor that turn. The chance to have a one drop and a gate, or and a two drop and a three. Yeah, but if I'm not going to have the gate in the opening hand, why do I care then? Like that's what I mean. Like if I'm not opening on it, then it's really not helping me. Uh, two drop will play first here as Ordinary Goblin. This card's better in the late game, and this card is better at trading and taking care of any of the early blockers in the game. Now it's probably Shield Mate. Because if they play a 2-2, we can actually mentor onto this guy and make it a 3-3, which is pretty strong. Yeah. Yeah, my bigger concern is not hitting a third land because that's just how magic works for us, but... Uh... So infuriating. I'm going to get a trade of the banner right here, I imagine. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, let's keep a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, the hammer is put away. Uh, we've, uh, we've exhausted our hammer time. Maybe one day. Getting down one drops on turn two or two drops on turn three or no drops on turn three because of a guild gate. Like all of those situations are bad. And um, they're just, you just don't need the guild gate. Like I don't understand this, this, uh, I mean, if you guys want to, if you guys want to ask someone that's not me, feel free to watch the the Ben Stark draft where he just doesn't play Guildgate because he doesn't think it's good. Uh, ben Stark is a Hall of Famer and arguably one of the best limited players in the world, if not the best. So if you guys still think it's better, feel free. I mean, you're welcome to your opinion, but. Seems good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I did not receive the other hat that Kurt was sending today yet. If Kurt shows up, we can ask him about the tracking and uh, whether it's going to be here. You're welcome to your opinion, but Ben S is probably right. Yeah, I'm not going to like... Okay, so you get to kill one guy. That's fine. I don't think you're... Okay. This is aggressive. Super aggro. I feel like they're dead now. They, they don't have a blocker. We have three lethal creatures, and we have a risk factor that lets us draw three. I went over this the other day when we actually got to take a Sacred Foundry in our, in our Boros deck, and I mentioned that, like, Oh my god, do you have maximized altitude? Or are we just going to two and you just showed us that? Okay. 
Dazzling Light? No? Okay. She just critic punch and scoop, so now we know you have that. Alright, that's good to know. Woo! Deal. That was something. Indeed. <laughs> On mostly two lands, no less. Still got there. Still got there. Yeah, we took a Sacred Foundry and we explained that like I would rather play a Sacred Foundry 100% of the time because you can it can come into play untapped. And that's really the most important part. I don't think we actually change anything here. They did have Cosmotronic Wave, which is kind of obnoxious. How many things does that kill? One, two, three, four, five. Yikes. Electronic. Cosmotronic. You know that, Jam? Oh, I do. It's a good one. Oh, man, we forgot to watch Plant Man. Oh, you're right. <sighs> I'm about to bust. Here you go, look at this. Turn one, turn two, turn three. This is exactly what I want. At no point do I want a guild gate. I'm just gonna show you guys the hands that like I don't want I would never want a guild gate in. I still don't agree with you, and I don't think like I, I don't think you're you're giving me a good reason. I love you, Josh, obviously. I just don't think you're giving me a good reason why they're good. Like, I mean, I think you're feeling like having, I think, I think you're, you're standing on a general, uh, like a general belief that like, Hey, having mana fixing in a deck is good, but I think there are certain decks that don't want it tapped. They don't want tapped lands to come into play. Like, It's not a phase. Electronic. Supersonic. I bet I can ask Frank Karsten. I'll be like, hey man, listen. Is it worth, hey, listen. Is it worth playing one guild gate in the Boros deck? They will 100% take four, I'm sure. See, now this is too many lands. Get in there. Little cutie hawk. Wow, this is a, this is a weird block when I'm playing Boros. I think you just made all of those statistics up on the spot. There's no way that it, the consistency is better than the times you want untapped lands in Boros. It's just not a thing. And the best, some of the best limited players in the world agree. Like, I don't know what, what this hill you're, they're dying on is. I can't, I can't understand how you would say that like 10% of the time it's better. It's, it's worse than 15%. Like it's, I can't believe you're saying it's better more of the time to have the consistency than it is to have the untapped lands. Like that's crazy. So we can actually kill this guy and get in there for a bunch right now, but Gravitic Punch is real scary at this point. If they go punch on this guy, they're attacking for 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we're at 23. And I think you're overstating how many times you're not able to cast your spells at all. Like, it just doesn't happen. You Like, you understand that if you have a Boros Guild getting in your hand, it's it's just going to be a, a basic land in your hand. It's not like you didn't get a land. It's just a basic land. And if you're having trouble with two colors, like, it's just, I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, 
Oh, Gazzy with the Frank Carson article. Perfect. Yes, but there, yes, you've seen issues where I, I lost because I couldn't draw a mountain or a plains. Like, I understand this, but like my odds of drawing the the guild gate is the same as drawing if I have eight mountains in my deck and I didn't draw a mountain. My odds are higher of drawing a mountain than it is of drawing a guild gate. So like, it's not like just because I put a guild gate in my deck, I have a better chance of drawing the guild gate. I feel like they're setting up for the... Yeah, it's weird that, like, all of the pros, like, they either have multiple, like, experience in this area, or they've literally done the math for it, and, uh... And you're just like... But you see, like, this is, this is like, you just arguing on feeling, you know what I mean? Like, you're like, it feels right. Wow, this is a lot of, uh... Of, of, of Piston Fist Cyclops here. I feel like this is a very easy... Like, we mentor onto you, and then mentor onto you. And so if they block here, we can just pump it. If they double block, that's fine. But if they're trading, like, guy for guy here, it's pretty okay. Mm -hmm. You just gotta throw another guy in front of that. Yeah, that's fine. This is just fine. Uh, the article says that, but I don't think you're reading the, the whole thing. I think it says near the bottom where fast format you shouldn't have one duel. <laughs> I think I think we're I think we're doing well here. We're at 30 there at 2. Yeah, those seems pretty good. I, uh, I have faith in our ability to close out this game. Kentucky. We can just drive to Kentucky and go pick it up. Curl, we'll definitely be wearing it. I'll wear it on uh, Tuesday when I get back. We'll have a good time. I agree. No, Josh, I totally agree. And, um, yeah, obviously we're just having a, having a, having a, a riveting debate. That's all. Sorry, what you did? You're sending me free, cool Halloween funny gaggy gifts. Don't even no need to apologize at all, buddy. I am super grateful because this is hilarious. And uh, Mike's a pepper. Sorry, he says that's funny. Yeah, the nerve of you. I was bamboozled by Amazon. I paid a fresh stream and I guess it the same day. Yeah, I I don't understand. I would actually. I would actually be like, Amazon, give me my four bucks back. Bezos doesn't need to line his pockets with your extra shipping. He'll line whatever the pockets he wants. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess you're right. He will do that. Hmm, that guy's that guy's got a fresh face.
I'm too lazy to call them. You can just you can just while you're while you're right here hanging out with us, go to um go to Amazon customer service chat. You have no idea how lazy I um I feel like I would. I, I feel like you don't strike me as a lazy person, especially because you've done a lot for uh, for the for cool stream times. So, based on my experience with you, I do. You do not strike me as a lazy person, dude. You you cultivated a whole box and sent it to me from all kinds of Asian countries. You're a nerd. Wrecked. Dang. What's this guy attacking for two? I'll take two. What's this, another is it deck? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Why are you playing that card? Jeez. Well, the problem is I don't want to actually attack with this guy now. Because then they just trade with a terrible card. So it's just bad all around. It's just bad all around. I mean, we can mentor onto this guy. I told my regularly dressed coworker he had a great nerd costume, and then I said, got him. <laughs> Dang. That's good. The box has a benefit to me. Apparently, I'm not interested enough in Fort All. What's the benefit to you, though? Does four dollars not have a benefit to you, man? The rich get richer. Do do they? Actually, they get less rich because they give four dollars. I feel like I just attack with both and then put the counter on this guy. Like, if you want to trade here, I guess it's fine. I told. <laughs> so I, I just reread that. Dang it. I can also just attack with this guy, but I want the Mentor, but I don't want this guy to die. So I think we just attack with him. If they block, we're glad to trade and pay four, and we can play Fresh Face Recruit. Because next turn we can also just, if they don't attack or if they do attack, we can just command the Storm, one of their blockers. We still need to get the product Go Gravy going so we can send some to Mike B before. That's good. No. Is that the, uh, it's like Gogurt but with gravy? Is that our, is that oh. our, our brilliant idea? Uh, just like pouches of gravy that you can drink uh, you can have different kinds you can have turkey gravy beef gravy mus mushroom gravy chicken gravy mm. eel gravy eel gravy okay well you're getting a little bold for me strawham gravy strawham shroddingham gravy shroddingham mm -hmm. is that like is that like nottingham is that like the robin hood city no, it's that that stuff you get in the can that's really gross. Oh, the Swedish, uh, the Swedish, the the pickled fish. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Yeah, I'm in a weird position where I'm just gonna kill this ornery goblin. I guess I would have loved to draw a direct current there, but this doesn't feel good. But it does put this guy out of the way. So like, we can actually make this guy a three four, and then next turn we can pump this guy to make this a four four. So. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna bounce one of them. I, I see. Oh, you're just gonna radical ideas. That's significantly better for me. Oh, not pickled, fermented. My bad. Schrodinger's gravy. Yes, it's both gravy and not gravy at the same time. Wow. Do they come with biscuits? Oh, that's a good idea. See, that's like a next level idea where you can have. It's like the um. It's like the cheese and crackers. Only instead you get biscuits. Like you get a, a little packet of biscuits and then some gravy. Now we're talking. Shrimp gravy. Is that a thing? Holy crap, that sounds... That, I mean, you have to have a... It's the... The the thing you're gravyizing have to have, has to have fat, right? It comes from fat. Right? Like, so... I don't yeah, think... Yeah, you can put fat... You can put butter in there and stuff. I guess you can do that. You can make gravy out of anything. You on a boat? I'm a gravy, Greg. Can you make gravy out of me? Do 
Do mushrooms have fat? Mushrooms have so much fat, you don't even know, bro. What you know about that mushroom? Wow, okay, three, four, five, six, eight to four. That's a good, uh, good ratio we're doing here. This feels correct. I mean, even if we two for one here, I think it's fine. Any trick, and we're in real good shape. If we have any trick, bet you wish one of those was a Gilgate. Now, don't, no, not no, no, still not at all. <laughs> wow, this is this is a gamble. If I ever saw one. Any trick, and they're dead. It's not a. It's not a phase, mom. That's true. That's correct. Can't take this anymore. You can't take it anymore. Yeah, I think actually getting rid of the two ornery goblins is probably the best course of action here. Also, I guess you could make shrimp gravy. You can make shrimp stock by boiling shells in water, and then you could thicken up that up with cornstarch or a river sun. Are you actually a chef? Because if so, I feel like you're not applying yourself. You win this round. Go mash and go gravy. You should just come one of those side-by-side -side tube things like glue that mixes when you squeeze it out. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you squeeze both sides simultaneously and you get half mashed potatoes and half gravy. That's actually... This doesn't sound good. Okay. I think we're good. Whew. Okay. Can I draw a Sky Knight Legionnaire? I feel like that would be a positive draw. Good talk. Are you going to double direct? Oh, you're just direct carrying my face? That's aggressive. It was a uh, land instead. It's close. Perfect. Nine, two, four. What a way to make a land. Drawing nine, two, four. Na, na, na. You know who sings that song? I'm a dad. Dolly Parton, you idiot. God. That's my dad. Dolly Parton is your dad? That's my dad. <laughs> okay. Well, that's something. He ain't got no friends. Come on, hasty boy. I think there's only one hasty boy in our deck, so. <laughs> she can say radical now. <laughs> <laughs> that's gas radical i don't think they ever take four right because then they're just they're just dead on the crack back right this is the best this is like the one of the best cards we could have drawn here i hope they take four it's not this is 17 lands because we have a five drop and a six drop so if they take four then they we play it again and now they have to give us three cards so how is this not a great draw? Like we just draw three here. And this is almost lethal. Almost. Correct. You gonna guild for battle those boys? I'm tempted to. You can just wait till next turn. Right, but if they have direct current, they can I guess we can just pump it. But I do like the mana efficiency here. 
This is 17 lands. I already, I already answered that. I don't know why I answered it again. I'm going to answer your question that I already answered in the chat. All right, so I think we're dying here. They tap this. One, two, three. Eh, maybe not, actually. One, two, three, four. We go to s we go to four. So unless they can deal four more here, I, c I don't think they can. If they have a sure strike, we die. That's pretty sad. I think they have a sure strike. They always have a sure strike. They do always have a sure strike. Oh, God. They literally always have a sure strike. It's unbelievable. Definitely bringing Wave in here. Um, actually, I've noticed a um, ten percent profit on boxes is actually not uncommon. I most I noticed most of my boxes were actually pretty profitable. Uh, I think the reason for that is because of uh, Shocklands. Like the Shocklands, if you open one of the twenty dollars rares, which there are like three or four of. And typically, you're going to open about four or five Shocklands per box, which my experience, closer to four maybe. But they're all about ten bucks each, so they cover about forty bucks right there. And it's very easy to piece together a bunch of other five dollar rares because there's a bunch of solid five dollar rares in this set. Solid. See, so yeah, I've noticed most of my boxes that I ended up opening were were definitely around the hundred dollar mark. But the Shocklands maintaining ten dollar uh, value and being just a regular rare, pretty good. Working nine to five. Ral is great. I've had Ral in every every blue red deck that I've played. Every control-based blue-red deck, I've had uh, at least a Ral or two in it. <sighs> I'll keep this. One land, we can play a A3 drop and a 4 drop. <laughs> just don't have sure strike of course they have sure strike they always do yeah I mean they had to have exactly sonic assault sure strike and uh, what can you do I feel like every time you've said we only die here if they have sure strike is like 100% of the time you die oh that was great draw that was great to draw Am I late? You're always late. But it's fashionably late. Oh, they lava cooled their guy. That's unfortunate. It's rude. That was rude. I hope you miss a land drop. Dang it! Lucky, 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 lucky. No, that guy costs four. Yeah. But that guy costs three. It's a two-three flyer with vigilance, with mentor. It's got three abilities. So what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Cool. That's very rude of them. It was not ideal. They only have six cards. It's okay. We'll, we'll get through it. 
It's Phil. He he's from Philadelphia. It's right outside of Seattle. Yep, seems good. What a Skynet Legionnaire! I have two in the deck. Haven't drawn one. Come on, one time. I mean, this is so easy to just take to four here, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, man. This is going well. Well, if we draw a spell, we're good. If we draw a land, we're good. So, as long as it's not like a take heart, I think we're fine. That's pretty good. You mentor onto you, you mentor onto him next turn, I guess. This is pretty comical. Oh, I don't have any plans on doing an Istra draft. I'm also leaving tomorrow for BlizzCon, so I won't be here for the next three stream days, unfortunately. Which means when I get back, I should be at like 300 subs, so. Four, five, six. They like to have lethal on board, so if they just play Cosmotronic Wave, we're dead here. Come on, buddy. You fall asleep? Was he falling asleep? I can just go back. I can just clip, man. I can just I'll just watch it. Direct current. Sure. Any plans on doing an intro draft? I literally just answered that like five minutes ago. You might have been asleep at the time, though. I might have, yeah. Five minutes is a long time, man. What does that mean? Is that how long your short term memory is? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, like goldfish. It's all making sense now. What's fun at BlizzCon? Uh, ex existing there. Existing is fun, kids. Existing is fun, kids. Well, this Toss is quite... salad and scrambled eggs. I hear those blues are calling. Let's see uh, where the first strike goes. Nowhere. Okay. So if we hit a land, we can light of the legion. That's pretty okay. Mike B knows where the plants will go. Mike B knows where the plants will go. Mike B. Mike B. This is not, uh... Barbabu Blagoon. Wow. Juposhi, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. The Barbabu Lagoon. That's actually good. That's very good. He's a funny guy. I'm a fan of this kid. This kid's going places. No, I will not be going. Mike B knows where the Mike B's go. Mike B. Mike B. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a fun game. You falling asleep? No. Do you need some more coffee? You think I'm falling asleep with my eyes open? I mean, yeah, I do. I literally read the chat like, are you falling asleep? Are you falling asleep? Are you falling asleep? Is that your Robert De Niro impression? No, but it could be. I could see that. You think I'm falling asleep? <laughs> yeah, man, that's very good. 
I actually I didn't I didn't remember it was you for a second. I was like, is that is that Robert De Niro? Mike is asleep, but I was new. How dare you? They know about your problem. Mike needs to get those googly eyes to put on his <laughs> eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> Two drop one time. Come on, you ready? Come on, come on. I'll take it. You know what? That's good. I really just wanted a guy so I can attack next turn and uh, mentor onto it and uh, do the things. I mean, I am going to get more coffee. Just yeah. Not, not at the moment. Because. I'll do that after. Because of your draft. narcolepsy. I understand. Mike is Robert De Niro as the Punisher. Yeah. That's my costume. Mike B. Dozer, the bright little girl. Mike B. I'm trying to think of how I would play Robert De Niro as the Punisher. Okay. Oh, we'll, we'll wait. But I don't got any lines. I can't just think do, of any lines. Just do Taxi Driver. Oh. Yeah, kind of. Probably boot those or the blood. Why is it? God, I wish this stupid plant man. How did this plant man song even get stuck in my head? Because someone brought it up. No, I brought it up. Really? Yeah, then but. you I, only have yourself to blame. I'm My what? You only have yourself to blame. That's not what you said, though. Schwelf. Yeah, it was. You have Schwelf to blame. It was more like Schwelf, yeah. I wish I knew what triggered it, though. I was like, wait, speaking of that, let's talk about Plant Man, which is the most obscure thing ever. Oh, this is, they're just basically dead. I can't imagine the attack here. Well, maybe they want this. No, I didn't think so. I was like, maybe they want, oh boy. Oh boy. I think it's, it has to be Parhelion on patrol though. Yeah, if we hit another land, being able to gird and uh, play Rubble Belt Board next turn is pretty strong. Michael, where do you work again? Let me write in a positive review for you. Who is Schwelf and why are we blaming him? You know, oh, look at look at the rich get richer over here. Well, that's exactly what we wanted to hit. What do I work? I work for a company called FIS. Fidelity Information Systems. That's where they fiss it for you. Yeah, that's where they fiss it. <laughs> I'm going to gird onto you for permanency. And I'm probably going to gird onto you. Because then you'll be a 4 4 and you'll be a 2 2. So both of these guys can. Oh, actually, we can't mentor twice, I guess. So. Yeah, I guess it's still fine. That's the gentleman totally. working the Saturday night shift was asleep, but he helped me pick out a very nice dress for my granddaughters quickly. He even tried it on. Five out of seven. Wood mic again. Well, see, there's a couple problems with that. <laughs> a, I don't work retail. B, we don't sell anything. And uh, C, you said I was falling asleep, so those are all bad. But I appreciate the sentiment. Yeah, but the thing is, they're all true as well, so, you know. Oh. Mike B knows where the pipes will go. This is gonna kill Mike us. Mike Man. Well, this is all this is all going poorly now. Actually, there are ten. We have four power on board. It's all fine, I guess. No plant man today. It's Halloween. Something more appropriate. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Look at that link, man. What link? It's just going to be a demonetized video. It's going to be Werewolf Bar Mitzvah. It's literally the... <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Spooky, scary... That song is copyrighted? All songs are copyrighted, man. We're all copyrighted down here. <laughs> That's true. How do I punch through now? 
I guess we can attack with both. If they go block, they can go block here, block here, though. It's pretty bad. Fortunately, OMZ Zoro, we don't really sell anything either. So you can't really buy stuff from us. But I appreciate it, nonetheless. God, I hate having this in hand and then just not being able to do anything with it. Mike, what is it you say you do here? I check whether people's cards are fraud or not. I help them not get frauded. Frauded. Get frauded on, bro. All right, well, here we go. Yeah, I don't care about that. Or that. Sonic Assault? No, I know a red. Artful Dodge. Oh my god. Wait, they killed the bird? That's fascinating. I'm intrigued. Watch, they're going to play Burglar Rat. We're going to discard the planes, and then we're... Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is this? I actually don't know what this is. No. Yeah. What is that going to do? Two damage? Three, I think? <laughs> All right, sure. You got it. Like, you have to block this guy or else you die, so you're just going to take four here? That's pretty good. It's also pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah, we'll pump it enough to give the mentor trigger. And then if they want to block here, they won't. They'll block here, we'll pump it again. They'll go to two. We'll have a guild mage in hand. Oh, we actually don't have to pump again. Yeah, that's fine. Trade. Play guild mage. And got him. All right. Maybe we got him. Who knows? They could have... As long as they don't wrath the board. Well, there's no wrath. Ritual of Soot doesn't kill this guy, so... I mean, they could have two cards. Literally, like, Artful Dodge and something else. But I, them cracking the, the locket is a pretty good sign. It's a pretty good... We won, hooray. Did we? Yeah. I, it's hard to tell sometimes. Spooky, scary, Michael B. Send shivers down your... I kind of want the Righteous Blow because they have the 1-1 one, one and the 1-2 and lots of and things. spooky, that, scary skeletons? Yeah, they do have some spooky, scary skeletons. I'm still reading chat. Mike, stop reading chat. Just <laughs> said that. Yeah, that's because he, he probably fell asleep. You like this? Oh, 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 oh. I thought you were going to spray me. Ah! <laughs> you trying to get in my eyes, man? Yeah, you got to wait till he opens his eyes because he's like, is it going to happen? And then you, that's when you get him. Sleep when it's Demir. Okay, got it. That's how you. Uh, that's how you train him. Yeah, it was rather refreshing, though. I know it always feels good. It feels like you, you just jumped into the pool. Yeah, I can go for a swim. That sounds nice. Yeah, too bad the, there's no water anywhere. <laughs> Maybe we live in Florida. There's water literally everywhere. 
Mm. I go to the beach right now. Do it then. Go swimming in the ocean. Ocean? Yeah. <laughs> you never been to ocean? You, been, you ain't never been cuba diving in the ocean? <laughs> Who is that? It's a Ralphie Mae joke. Okay. Rip. Did Ralphie Mae die? Yeah, he did. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty recent. That was like a year ago. Jeez. No, he did not. No, he definitely did. It was fake? Well, that's weird because the Wikipedia page literally says... Died October 6, 2017. Like, no, it's definitely not fake. He USA Today, comedian died. Ralphie Mae dies at 45. Ralphie Mae, 45, comedian who happens to be fat, dies. New York Times. Like, no, he's... He dead. Definitely not a, Definitely not fake. I mean, it's sad, but he is dead. Oh, what up, yokes? It is. It's Yoakum. Oh my god. It's been so long. How long has Yoakum been gone? I got nothing here. There's nothing happening. That's. I will trade with either of these uncommon creatures. My Kuz guy blocking our view of your handsome person. <laughs> wow, that's messed up. You think you know a guy. Michael is a little pepper. <laughs> Creeping ch What does that do? It's the Commander All Star that we were talking about. <laughs> wow. It's not good. Yeah, I feel like this game is over. Well, the instructor not only died for our one-one counter, he also died for our for our pest problem. Because this guy with this guy is eh, it gets out of hand pretty quick. So, one hundred one. It's not a phase, mom bucks. <laughs> oh, that's good times. Sure. Can I just draw Take Heart or the plus two, plus two shooty card? Shooty. That's not it. Shooty. Spooky, scary, Michael. Too Lee. hot. Boy, I know it. I just watched the Commander VOD and nearly choked on laughter and the mic went, it's not a phase. Not a same. You and me both. Oh, man. That was good stuff. I guess he didn't expect it to be as funny as it was, but boy, I lost it. I was out. What'd they do? They added a Night Vale Predator, huh? Well, that's a good one. Flying Detouch Haproof. So I can mentor... Oh, that chapstick smells good. I can mentor onto you. Oh, and you then mentor it. onto you. No, that doesn't work. I can mentor onto you. Mentor onto you again. Say, so why don't I eat it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You gotta do mentor math. I, it's not. Yeah, it's really bad. I think we're selfing here. Okay, you. I don't think you get to mentor onto anyone. You get to mentor onto you, I believe. Can he mentor on the tutu? Oh no, he's already mentored.
Like, we just need this guy being a 3-4 so that it either bounces or it trades. Um, you don't get to mentor on to anyone, unfortunately. And you're going to go on this guy, obviously, because then all the guys are big enough. Except this is the only problem creature we have here. But all of our guys are 3 power, so they're going to take 6 here. I assume this guy is blocking here. Which means you're going to get to eat somebody with this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Watcher gets to eat a dude, probably the bodyguard, which is fine because then this guy gets a counter and this guy gets a counter and this guy gets a counter, which makes me believe you're probably not going to eat the bodyguard. You might just double block here, but then you take nine and go to four. That doesn't seem great. Uh, I don't want to mentor on a recruit on recruit twice. I'd rather just mentor onto this guy once, so it's a three four, and then either bounces with this guy or trades with this guy. I don't want you just throwing a guy in front of this because I'd rather have the park alien patrol survive. Spooky, scary, Josh Bias and shivers down your spine. Ooh. Actually, like I like this is probably the best block. Unless you have Sure Strike, which I don't think you do. All right, that's pretty good. All those guys get counters, and you're probably dead next turn. This guy mentors onto this guy. Well, they have no profitable blocks on this guy, but then they all of a sudden have a very profitable block on Parhelion Patrol, so. Spooky, scary, J Myers says that your content's lame. <laughs> he makes a name, comes back again, and says, ah, says that's, I messed it up, but I... I think we were on the right track there with that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Sign those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. Both are slash Frank Lepore. Same with MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore where you can get 15% off. You can also get onesies at MeUndies.com for 15% off and free shipping and free returns, which is super awesome. Uh, I would recommend that highly because they're super cool. But uh, yeah, you win, I win, everybody wins. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. I will check you out later. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it.